Hello, Catherine. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Let's wait one more minute. Maybe more people join the class. Okay. Yes. Okay, teacher. Ya vuelvo enseguida, okay? Porque okay. está lloviendo fuerte aquí. No sé dónde usted. Eh, también está lloviendo algo fuerte. Okay, permítame. Hey, teacher. Okay, thank you. Oh, Karen is here. Hello, teacher. Hi, Karen. So, hi, Catherine. Hi, teacher. <clears throat> so, it's raining in, some, in, in Ciudad Credisa. No, Ciudad Arce, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, teacher, I'm raining. Is it raining in a popa, Karen? Yes, teacher. Oh. Officially, when is rainy season? ¿Cuándo es temporada de lluvia ya? Mm. Sería el otro mes, pero yo creo que ya, ya empezó. Really? Okay. Okay, hold on, let me see one thing. Vamos a dormir rico hoy. Yes. 
Okay, hold on, give me one second. So I send up. Pero. Hold on, give me one Okay, I'm going to put something here in chat. En ese momento se lo pongo. Okay, good. Job. Oh, oh, ignoren la primera, eh, me salió mal. Okay. Ven la última, dice, my sister is older than me. Yes? Yes, the Soyapango is the okay. most dangerous city in El Salvador. I'm sorry, my sister is older than me. My father is taller than my mother. KFC is okay. better than Pollo Campero. Usulután is bigger than San Salvador. I am the tallest in my family. Soyapango is the most dangerous city in El Salvador. And Sobeita is the youngest in the classroom. 
Do you see that seven sentence? Yes, teacher. Me pueden hacer un favor, me pueden hacer la pregunta de cada respuesta de esas. Wow. Um, okay. No, pero take your time. Anótenlas, escríbanlas si quieren. Ah, uh, ok. Ya, yeah, ok. Eh, ¿Quieren que 10 minutos lo hacen? Sí, digamos un minuto por pregunta, vaya. Ok. okay. Yo regreso con ustedes. Ok, teacher. Ok. Si terminan antes, me dicen. Perfecto. All right, thank you. Classroom.
Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, good. All right, let's do it. Karen, did you finish? A uno, teacher. Okay, no, dos minutos más. Okay, ya, ya vuelvo. No problem. Okay, let's see here. Okay. So number one, it says, my sister is older than me. What is the question, Catherine? Um, who is older, sister or me? Okay, who is older, you or your sister? Who is older, you? Or sister. Or your sister. Okay. Karen, what do you have? Um, eh, la segunda. No, no, en esa. Eh, my sister is older than me. What is your answer? Oh, en la primera. Oh, mm -hmm. yo la tengo así. Is your sister older than you? Ok, en ese sentido no, porque esa es una, una pregunta cerrada, porque la respuesta es yes or no. Oh. Y aquí le estamos preguntando, who is older, you or your sister? Entonces sería, who is older, uh -huh. is older, you or your sister? Que la respuesta es mi hermana es más vieja que yo. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? ¿Quién es más vieja? ¿Tu otra hermana? O sea, ¿más vieja o mayor? Okay. Okay, number two, it says... My father is taller than my mother. Karen? Um, who is taller than your parent? Mm -hmm. Karen, remember, you are comparing. So who is taller, your mother or your father? Oh. Uh, 
Yes. Catherine, what do you have for number two? Who is taller, your father or mother? Very good. Your father or your mother? Number three, KFC is Kentucky Fried Chicken, yes? Yes. Kentucky Fried Chicken is, uy, escribí mal, it's better. Kentucky Fried Chicken is better than Pollo Campero. Which is better, the KFC or Pollo Campero? Excellent. Karen, what do you have? No, yo no la tengo así, la tengo diferente. ¿Cómo la tiene usted? Which one do you think is better? Eh, KFC or Puyo Campero? Eh, casi. Estamos bien. Lo único que usted preguntó, what do you think? No, es simplemente es más fácil aún. Which is better? ¿Cuál es mejor? Puyo Campero or KFC? Which is better? KFC or Pollo Campero? All right, next, let me see. Usulutan is bigger than San Salvador. Catherine, what do you have for that? Which is bigger, Usulutan or San Salvador? Excellent. Karen, what do you have? Esta ya no alcanza a ser pizza. Okay. So which is bigger, San Salvador or Usulután? Usulután is bigger than San Salvador. Bigger. Hoy nos pasamos a los superlativos. I am the tallest in the class. What is the question? Who is the tallest in your family? But the, it says here, I am the tallest in the class. I am the tallest in the class. What is the question? Sorry, teacher. I am the tallest in the si alguien le dice hey yo soy el más alto de mi clase cuál es la pregunta uh, sorry no es que estaba viendo y es I am the tallest in my family oh uh -huh. my god I am so sorry my family es cierto I am sorry I'm so sorry Catherine you are correct can you repeat the question who is the tallest in your family? Yes. I'm sorry. Very good. It's correct. <laughs> and I am the tallest in my family. Next is Soyapango is the most dangerous city in El Salvador. Oh, wait, wait. Who is the tallest in your family? Karen, usted que tiene para eso? No, esas ya no las alcancé a hacer, teacher. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, so Soyapango is the most dangerous city in San Salvador. Which is the most dangerous city in El Salvador? Excellent, yes. Which is the most dangerous city in El Salvador? Soyapango. Maybe Soyapango. Mm -hmm. yes. It's the most dangerous city in El Salvador. What the fuck? Oh. Or oh, maybe San Salvador, I mean. <laughs> okay, uh, next it says. Sobeida is the youngest in the class. Who is the youngest in the classroom? Who is the youngest in the classroom? Yes. Sobeida is the youngest in the classroom, correct? Correct. Creo que es Obeida. Or, or you, Catherine? No, teacher. Karen, how old are you? So old, teacher. Excuse me? So good. How old, oh, me pregunto, how old are you, Karen? 
Oh, I'm 38. 38. Okay, so yes, yeah, so Beida is the youngest in the class. Beida. Es la más joven de la clase. Mm -hmm. Let's see this video here. Okay, it says instructions. Escriban las preguntas para las siguientes respuestas. Recuerde, usar qué tan. So, what is this one? Angels fall in 1970 is 979 meters. How high? ¿Qué tan alta? Yes. Number two, California is about 403,970 square kilometers. How big? Very good. How big is California? Hi. How Num low? Num number three, the Nile is 960 kilometers long. How long? Very good, how long? A, um, number four, Washington DC gets about 32 degrees Celsius, 990 Fahrenheit. In the summer. How hot? How, how hot? hot? Mm -hmm. Let's see the correct answer. How high is Angel Falls? Number one. Number two is how big is California? Yes. Number three is how long is the Nile? Number four. How hot? How hot is Washington DC in the summer? Yes, that's no problem. Yes. Remember yesterday, Catherine, how do you dress in a funeral? I dress in black. ¿Se acuerda que le pregunté cómo se viste en un funeral? Yes, teacher. You say, oh, me he visto de, eh, de negro. <laughs> y que le preguntamos a Karen cómo se duerme, cómo duerme y... <laughs> Y un sopa interior que estábamos esperando escuchar como, como un fan. O... Qué gustísimo. <laughs> no, that's good. Though. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> es how do you. Eh, how do you se usa para todo. Cómo usted hace esto. Cómo usted hace eso. Ok. So listen. En esta clase escucharán una conversación entre dos personas haciendo planes. El futuro con el presente continuo. El estar yendo serán presentados. Vamos a ver. So let's listen to this. This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, hold on, please. Okay. Let's see. Hi, 
So are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus a verb, plus ing. Example, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus be plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have... Le puedo dar la explicación más fácil si quieren. <ríe> que bueno que le decía ayer una explicación bien técnica mm -hmm. que no se queda. What? Yes, teacher. Okay, look. Tenemos que entender. What is present continuous? Um, the verbs más ing. Yeah, but the action now. The action now. Mm -hmm. Example, look. What am I doing? He's smoking. Okay, good. I am smoking. Okay. Correct? I am smoking. Yes? I am smoking. Okay. The action is now in this moment in progress. Karen, what am I doing? Um, I'm not. No puede ver lo que estoy haciendo, Karen. Es solamente que es. No, no le veo. Veo a, a cómo se llama a, a Katherine. Pero usted no lo veo. Really? Ahora sí lo veo. Okay, good. ¿Qué está haciendo? Bien. In English, please. 
Sleeping. Good. I am sleeping. So present okay. continuous is an action now in this moment. Oh. Okay. Y esto okay. es future continuous. Ahora, ojo. Esto no existe en español lo que vamos a ver. I am drinking coffee. Yes? Look. I am drinking coffee. It's called present continuous because it's now. Ahora, ahora, no, estoy tomando un café. Eso es presente continuo. La acción es, mire, se llama presente continuo o presente progresivo. Porque la acción está en presente y está en, en ejecutándose. Ejecutándose. Pero aquí estamos viendo que hay otra forma de, de decir un futuro que es que es un futuro progresivo que la diferencia I am drinking coffee tomorrow ¿Qué dije? es algo que voy a hacer pero mañana no estoy tomando café mañana <risa> soy raro porque en español no se usa <risa> En inglés, sí. Entonces es bien fácil. Solo usamos el present continuous y la última palabra o la primera describe el futuro. For example, I am drinking coffee tomorrow. Do you understand? No, teacher. Ok, si no entendemos. Ok. Tenemos que entender qué es presente continuo. ¿Eso lo o entendemos? Sea, uh, uh, yes. O sea, ¿Qué es eso? Futuro. ¿Qué es pres... No. Again. ¿Qué es presente uh, no. continuo? Ah, ok. Presente continuo es um, in the action, in the moment. Yes. Ok. Karen, yes? Yes. Give me an example, Karen, of present continuous now. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice regañando? Scolding. I scolding my son. Okay, very no good. Okay. <laughs> no, that's a very good example. Okay, Catherine, give me an example. Um, I am learning in the English. English, very good. Good, good. Si ustedes ven, el tema aquí es future with present continuous. Hmm. Yo puedo decir... I am drinking coffee. It's present continuous, correct? Yes. ¿Cómo podemos hacer eso en futuro? Bien fácil. Solo le agregamos algo que exprese un futuro. I am drinking coffee tomorrow. No me van a decir que nunca han usado este dicho. Y mañana a esta hora voy a estar bañándome en la playa. Yes. Ok, good. Y si notan, ahí están diciendo bañándome y eso es una acción en este momento. Mm. Pero ¿qué lo hizo futuro? Que ustedes dijeron mañana, mañana. A esta hora voy a estar bañándome en la playa. Entonces eso en inglés es más fácil porque solo decimos me estoy bañando mañana. Ok. O sea, mañana hasta ahora voy a estar tomando un café con mi padre. Entonces, en inglés yo puedo decir, I am drinking coffee tomorrow with my father. What is future there? Tomorrow. Mm. Yes? Yes. Cuando trabajamos y se nos acercan las vacaciones, digamos, oh, uh, mañana es mi último día de vacación, entonces el lunes voy a estar durmiendo. Entonces, eso es lo que una pregunta, hey, ¿qué vas a hacer en Navidad? Oh, I am visiting my family in Christmas. I am visiting my family is present continuous. Yes. What is future? 
Christmas. Y esa es una forma muy, muy, muy común de, de hablar del futuro, ¿saben? So, example, Catherine, what are you doing tomorrow? I am watching in the movie my boyfriend tomorrow. With my boyfriend. With my boyfriend. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Netflix. Yes. Not to go. Okay, good. ¿Sabe cuál les recomiendo en Netflix? Vea Ana. It's good. Solo si Ana. Ana the movie, con dos genes. Porque hay una serie también. Pero hay una de movie. It's good. Okay. Okay. Um, hey, Karen. Hola. ¿Qué se hizo, Karen? ¿Por qué no lo veo yo aquí? No sé por qué no me veo. Aquí estoy. Okay, okay. Karen, what are you doing tonight? Ay. I sleep. I sleeping. I sleeping I the night. I am sleeping tonight. Yes. Okay. Very good. Veo que fácil es solo una palabra necesitamos que exprese un futuro y ahí estamos set. Yes. Okay. Catherine, are you still pregunta me? Okay. What is what is doing going to what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing Sunday in the morning? Good. Very good. ¿Qué es futuro ahí? Mm, Sunday. Sunday morning. Um I am going to the market Sunday morning. Mm. Yes, okay, Karen, your turn. Uh, what did you do in, in the morning? What are you doing tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning. Repeat, tomorrow. what are you doing tomorrow morning? What are you doing tomorrow morning? I am eating breakfast in McDonald's tomorrow morning. La vida de los ricos es famosa. No, a mi hijo le gusta desayunar ahí. No, pero fíjense que es barato, McDonald's no es tan caro. Es más barato que Burger King. Es cheaper than Burger King. Cheaper than. Yeah. Sí, es porque hay un combo en McDonald's de desayuno que vale como tres y algo, creo. Que es el McMuffin, el Hash Brown la, y el café o jugo. It's very, very good. <coughs> Bless you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so it's it's easy, correct? <laughs> yes. No problem. Yes. Yeah. Ahora, si ustedes lo quieren traducir al español, no te va a tener lógica una porque no existe. Okay. Pero sí existe realmente. Me expliqué como uh -huh. oh, mañana esta hora voy a estar en la playa dándome un cóctel. Ahí están hablando continuo uh -huh. echándome un cóctel lo único que como dijeron mañana future ok yes. so Catherine what are you doing tomorrow morning uh, I am um, in the supermarket I am going to the supermarket ah ok I am going to the supermarket tomorrow morning 
tomorrow morning. Okay. I am going to the supermarket tomorrow morning. Very good. Karen, what are you doing tomorrow morning? Karen? Hmm. Hola. <laughs> Karen, what are you doing Hola. tomorrow? What, what are you sí. doing? Okay, what are you doing tomorrow morning? I going, I going training tomorrow. Morning. Morning. Entonces sería, I am training yeah. tomorrow morning. I am training tomorrow morning. Yeah. Very good. Yes. I am training. I am training tomorrow morning. Okay, let's listen to this again. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use Oye, of future with present continuous mejor. and the use of future with be going to. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus future with present continuous and be going to with present <gasps> continuous what are you doing tonight i'm going to a soccer match are you doing anything tomorrow no i'm not with be going to plus verb what is she going to do tomorrow she's going to work until five are they going to go bowling yes they are as you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to, to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Example, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus I. Gran, gran gramática. Cuando la conclusión solo es, digan el presente continuo y la palabra de último o al principio es futura. Pero si yo digo esto, I am eating chicken. Is that future? No, no. that's present continuous. Meeting. I am eating chicken. Porque es literalmente si yo estoy comiendo pollo. Pero si yo digo, hey, tomorrow I am eating chicken. Future. Yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ahí nos trae una pierna de paloma. Porque ahora piernas de paloma van ahí. ¿A dónde? En, en el campero. Oh, no. No, no. Okay. no, tomorrow, no, tomorrow I am eating breakfast at McDonald's with my son. And tomorrow night I am drinking tequila. Okay. Eh, uno de mis mejores amigos es gay. No, no, o sea, no es nada más lo que sea gay, pero él es un bartender. O sea, él estudió, no sé, che, gastronomía mm. y prepara los mejores tragos. Así dicen, que sí pueden. Ya, yeah. entonces va a venir, pero a mí no me gustan muy, mucho preparados. 
muy, muy, terminan como fresco. Ay, me gustan fuertes, like. Mm. Uh, strong. Yes, I like. But I, I, I only like drink five, maybe five lang. or five or ten tequilas. That's it. Pero. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Dice que se siente el primero, dice. Del tequila. Ya los otros ya no dice. No, no sé si será se cierto. Siempre se siente. Lo único que sí les recomiendo es que si van a tomar algún día tequila, tomen un reposado. Porque el tequila yes. sí, sí se siente bien la diferencia cuando es pajero o no. No sé por qué. Porque cuando es pajero. O sea, siempre se va a sentir fuerte, pero cuando es bajero, se siente bastante el alcohol, como, eh, como que se tomó alcohol. Pero entre va un poquito más caro, se siente fuerte, pero no sé, se siente un saborcito al final de, ah, wow, qué rico. Qué rico. Oh. Ajá. Y, y ese nunca han oído ese dicho cuando alguien tiene tos. <coughs> un tequila, es un tequila. Es cierto, porque cuando usted le duele el pecho o algo así, que usted a veces tiene ganas de meterse la, la boca y rascarse todo aquí adentro y no puede, eso le hace el tequila. Ajá, por eso nunca, nunca le han dicho Ay. cuando usted tiene tos <ríe> y le dicen, échese un tequila, es bueno para eso. Es por eso porque cuando, cuando usted se lo toma, como siente que todo esto le quema, <ríe> es como oh, es como, oh, me, me estoy rascando. But I, I, I am drinking tequila tomorrow night. Con una pierna de cerdo. Wow. Barbecue. Ah, yes. Delicio. Yes. Well, my, my friend, my friend, he's the bartender and the chef. Yo, yo solo Bien pongo atendido. la música. Yeah, yo solo pongo la música. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing tomorrow night Catherine oh you're watching movies with your boyfriend yes, right? yes. Uh, and uh, Karen tomorrow night not tomorrow morning tomorrow morning you're going to the gym but what are you yes. doing to, tomorrow night uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night uh, sleeping <laughs> sleeping desde bien temprano así <laughs> yeah oh, okay okay that's good that's good okay class uh, thank you very much ahora lo que aprendieron hoy es una forma muy muy común y no me, y bueno y me atrevería a decir que quizás la forma más común como alguien habla futuro y, y es así podemos decir I am going to eat hamburgers tomorrow es futuro o oh, I am eating hamburgers tomorrow que es presente continuo expresando futuro ok ok so practice okay. lo más fácil es que una palabra solo basta una palabra para que exprese futuro okay. si no recuerden lo que yo les dije en español así decimos uh, mañana a esta hora voy a estar Echado, deseándome. Oh, wow. No, mañana está. A esta hora. hora. Voy a estar con Solamente un tequila. Solamente que baño de luna. Con un tequila y un chicharrón. <laughs> baño de luna, yes. Ok, class. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend, ok? Ok, teacher. Okay, Thank teacher. you. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Buenas noches. Igualmente.